we are going to start my version of hamburger helper mac and cheese so in this skillet I'm going to add just a little bit of oil the skillet's already hot we are going to add our beef you decide what kind you want we're going to break it up and get this brown Oh, here. This thing works pretty good. This is one of the um, Pampered Chef products and I thought I would try it to break up hamburger meat and stuff and it works pretty good. I like it. I'll link it below if I can find it for you all. Nice and very sturdy. Not cheap made at all. Okay, now that we have the meat brown, I'm going to start adding the onion. Add some onion, some diced onion, add some garlic and our spices. I'm going to add some salt, some comino, ground comino, some pepper, and some chili powder. I'm going to hold some back. If I need more, I'll add some more, and I think I will. Okay, put the rest of this in there. And then we're going to fry this up. Very easy dish. You can have it ready in no time. I've got this real nice and fried up just like that. It doesn't have any liquid or oil or anything in there. We are going to add our flour, just a little bit of flour to thicken this up, just a little bit. And we're going to brown the flour just a little bit just to get that flour taste out of it. Just like that. I hope you can see that. Okay, now that that's browned up, we're going to add our noodles. Now I am using the, the traditional little elbows. You can add whatever you want. I just wanted to make this a traditional uh, hamburger helper style. Okay, mix it all up real nice. And then we're going to add our liquid. Okay, I'm going to add some chicken stock. You can add beef stock if you don't have chicken. Whatever you prefer. This already smells delicious. Okay, we're going to mix this up and we're going to turn down the heat just a little bit. As soon as it starts to get to the boil, we're going to turn it down and cover it, and then we add the cheese. And this is where you want to taste your, your liquid and see if you need any adjusting to the spices, which normally is just the salt and pepper. Okay, I scraped the bottom of the pan. Everything is up. Let's wait for it to come to a boil. Okay, I'm going to taste so I can adjust the seasoning. And it's going to need just a little bit of salt. As it finally hit the boiling point, I am going to turn the heat down to low and I'm going to cover this and let it continue to cook. The pasta should cook in about 13 minutes, okay? So you just want to put it on low and I'll be back. This should be ready. It's been exactly 13 minutes. You leave it just as long as the packet says for the pasta to cook. I'm going to turn off the heat and then I'm going to add the cheese. I like to use cheddar cheese because that's pretty much what I use for macaroni and cheese. So, But you use the cheese that you like. So I put the cheese in, give it a mix. Yummy, this smells delicious. With the residual heat, this will melt and then just leave it alone. Cover it back up. This is ready. The cheese has melted. I'm going to plate this up and show you the finished product. Here is my version of Hamburger Helper Mac and Cheese. Smells delicious and it is delicious. And it's easy, a one skillet uh, meal for you to make. I personally don't like to buy the boxes. I like to know what I'm putting into my food. And this is delicious and it makes for great leftovers. Serve it with some salad or just a side vegetable. Everybody's happy because you have meat, pasta, and cheese. Who can go wrong with that? That's going to conclude my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this one for you. If you did enjoy it and try it, come back and leave us a thumbs up. Tell me what you think of the recipe. And I will leave the recipe and all the products that I use listed in the description bar below. And hit that subscribe button. It's right there. I see a lot of people watching but not subscribing. We need to get that subscriber count up. I really would appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.